Hi all, Vijay here, and welcome to my channel named Takesira. Uh, from today onwards, we are starting a new series on Angular uh, named Interview Question, and uh, in each video, we will try to cover four to five interview questions with explanation. So. Now let's quickly start uh, with the today's video. Most of the interviews, uh, this will be the first question that uh, interviewer usually asks that uh, uh, what is single page application or the what are the single page applications. So we have to understand that uh, uh, what are single page applications or uh, we need to understand that how web application works. So in web, applica web application always works with the client server architecture. So client is the request for a page like index.html uh, or the about.html if you are clicking on the about page. So what server does? Server just serves that particular request along with the associated CSS file, HTML file and the JS file. So this is how the normal web application works. So whenever you raise a request, so the server receives that request and server serves that request. Server will return an HTML. Uh, along that HTML server returns the associated CSS JS file. So whenever you will click on the uh, click on any navigation like about the space contact us, the complete application reloads because uh, every time you are just clicking on the contact us or the about us, we are making a new request to the server. So we call this page load. So whenever you will click on a on any navigation, your complete application reloads on the browser. So this is how the web application works but uh, how single page application works differently than the uh, normal web application works. in case of single page application so if i talk about the definition of the single page application that single page application is a web application that fits on a single page because in case of single page application uh, we have only single page in case of angular we have index.html so Whenever we just type a URL of a Angular application, so what server does, server will return, server will return that particular HTML page along with the JavaScript, uh, CSS file uh, is retrieved with a single page load. So all your code, JS, HTML, CSS is retrieved with a single page load. And if you will click uh, on about a space, then that request will not go to the server because you have already that page on your client side. So all your uh, page content will refresh dynamically rather than the complete website, the complete page load. So this is how the single page application works. Some of the examples of the single page applications are uh, like the Gmail, Facebook, Twitter. This is how the normal web application works. If you are typing, for example, www.google.co.in, your, your request will go to the server. Server will serve that HTML page along with the CSS and JSS. If you are clicking on the uh, about the space or the contact page, another request will go to the server. Server will again serve that page along with the CSS and the JSS page. So complete page load occurs whenever you will click on any of the navigation on your website. So uh, and how is power works? If you will see that particular example, if you are clicking on the navigation, they, there will not be any page refresh, page load at all because the pages all the gss uh, we have already in our client side so they will not there won't be any page load at all so this is how the single page application works so the another question and the very important question is difference between template and the template url so in angular whenever whenever we talk about the html uh, so uh, we can write our HTML part either in the component itself or we can write our HTML in a separate HTML file. So if we are writing our HTML in the component itself, then we use the template property. But if we are writing our HTML in a separate HTML file, then we use the template URL property. Let me give you one example. So uh, like we are writing our HTML directly in our component this is our component, then we can use the template property. But if I want to write this HTML in a separate HTML file, for example, I, I, I'm writing this HTML in a app component.html, uh, for example, this, okay? Then uh, I need to map this HTML file in the component and for that, I will use the template URL property. 
So how we will provide the path app dot component dot html. Template property we use if we want to write our HTML directly in our component and template URL property we use if we are writing our HTML in a separate HTML file. But one point we need to remember that if we are using the template property then we need to write our HTML XAMPP within Pactic sign because if you are not using the Pactic sign if you want to write your HTML in the component itself then you want to be able to write more than one line of HTML for example this is test page okay but you cannot write the another line of HTML if you are using the template property and if you are not using the Pactic sign so if you want to write the multi-line HTML in the component itself, then you need to use the practice sign. You need to remember this point as well. Interviewer can ask this thing as well. We have some advantages if you are writing your HTML in your HTML file. Because you will get the IntelliSense support here. As per the Angular guidelines, if you have one or two line of HTML, then you can write that HTML in the component means you can use the template property it's okay but if you have more than two three lines it always advisable that you should write your html in a separate html file and you need to use the template url property in that case question is what are the bindings in angular so whenever we talk about the bindings in angular so basically we use bindings in order to communicate between component class and the view. There are four types of bindings we have. The first one is the string interpolation. The second one is the property binding. Third one is the event binding. Fourth one is the two-way data binding. So, string interpolation is component class to view. Uh, property binding is again component class to view. Event binding is basically view to component class. And two-way data binding means component class to view and view to component class in a single step. So bindings tells you that how you will access your class variables data in the HTML or if you have some text boxes radio button in your HTML how you will access the values of those controls in your component class. So basically there are four types of bindings we have in angular string interpolation property binding event binding and the two-way data binding. Again, this is very important question and uh, when we talk about the string interpolation as we uh, talk about in the previous question, string interpolation is a one-way data binding. One-way data binding means if you have some data in your class and if you want to access the data in your HTML file, you can take the help of the interpolation. How we will access the data? Through the interpolation. Interpolation for use two curly braces start and two curly braces end okay and we can write the variable name between this data so in string interpolation allows you to access yours in your html and this is how we can access a string interpolation is a one-way data binding technique that is used to pass the data from a component class to html view okay to use the string interpolation uh, we use this syntax whatever we have we can just enclose that particular data within the curly braces here we have a name variable named Vizirana. If you want to access uh, this particular variable in your HTML, how you will access, uh, you can write this syntax. Okay. So whatever variable you want to access, you need to put between the curly braces. The next question is explain property binding. Property binding is again a one-way data binding. So syntax of the property binding is we use the square bracket or whatever property you want to access, we write between the square bracket. So for interpolation, we use the curly braces. For property binding, we use the square bracket. You need to remember this. Okay. And uh, here is an example. If you have some property, for example, is visible. And if you want to access this property in your HTML, you can make use of this square bracket. So whatever property you want to access, you can use, uh, you can just write the property name and you can bind that data whatever you want to bind in that property okay so for interpolation and the property binding guys we have a different video uh, on the youtube where we explain property binding and interpolation in detail please watch those videos as well 
in case if you have any doubt in property binding or the interpolation guys if you have any question you can go ahead and ask in the comment section please tell me if you need some more such videos on other technologies like c sharp python or js or if you like the video guys please subscribe my channel share it video thank you all